What's up YouTube? It's your boy Douglas M and today I'll be doing a video response uh, to a video that I've done um, last year in 2012 around September of October of last year um, in regards to me stating that Samsung was uh, deliberately uh, took the app to SD function away from their devices meaning the, the Note 2 uh, the S3 and the um, Samsung uh, 10.1 no. Now, I want to formally uh, apologize. Uh, I'm sorry for spreading rumors, Samsung, because that is incorrect. It's not Samsung's issue. Um, Samsung has free, 90% of their apps are free in the marketplace. Um, their apps are not big um, that you do download, so moving apps to SD for them shouldn't be an issue. Even if you have an 8 gig device, it's not taking up much space. Um, this is a Google, or this is an Android issue. And I don't know if that has anything to do with Google. I don't know if they're responsible for the updates. I'm not blaming anyone there because I, I don't know. But it is an Android issue because they took it out of our devices. And they have a motive. They make money on apps. So, um, you know, moving apps to SD, you know, maybe maybe people are doing it and, and um, not paying for it um, and just keeping it there and they're not making money. I don't know, but they have some type of motive for blocking it. But so if you want to address your concerns, address it to Android. Whoever did the ice cream sandwich 4.04, at least um, to Jelly Bean 4.1.1 or 4.1.2. Now, I want to show you guys, uh, I have a lot of Samsung devices, um, let's see here, uh, this is my Note 10.1, I mean, this is my Note uh, 7 inch tab 2, sorry, get tongue tied, the laptop that I'm recording is a Samsung. And where I do my videos, 99% of them are on my Samsung camcorder. So, why would I bash Samsung if I really didn't mean it? Is all I meant to say there. But, like I said, it's Android's fault. Um, but I wanted to say, too, I mean, you know, the solution, as obviously, at this point, is either root your device and um, if you can't do it yourself you could check out Craigslist now that's a little risky I know but I did that years ago um, you can check Craigslist in your area there's people that do it they root all I mean they don't just root your uh, Samsung devices they'll root whatever Apple whatever you got they'll unlock your Apple TV whatever so you could try it that way or go to XDA developers and do it yourself with Samsung devices not really that hard to root your device um, so you can try that or if you didn't buy the device yet and you're thinking about it I would suggest you get a 32 gigabyte version of that device whether it's the phone or the note just get that it'll solve your problems and um, I wish Samsung would would just upgrade to that um, I wish they would like their new because I'm waiting on the S4 I don't I didn't get the note 2 that's a little too big for my liking and it came out a little too soon um, I had to pay my I had to pay for my S3 outright, so that was like five six hundred dollars. So, like three four months after that, the note came out. I'm like, no. Nah. But my rebate is uh, I have Sprint, and my rebate is um, my upgrade is due uh, is will be available, I think in February or March. So I think the S4 is coming out in May, so I'll be right online, and I'll get the 32 gigabyte gigabyte version of that if. If 16 is the intro, I'll get the 32 gigabyte version, so I don't have any problems with storage, and I can still pop in my SD card. Now, that's what I want to talk about too, because just because the Note, without it being rooted, it can't store apps, but look how much other things it can store. It can store your music, it can store your pictures, it can store your videos, it can store any type of file. So, I mean, there. if you have a 64 gigabyte in your 10.1 node, it's not that, I mean, you can't move your apps. That does suck, but you could store a whole bunch of other stuff. So, let's, let's calm down a little bit. 
And like I said, it's not Samsung's fault. Also, um, you Apple people out there, I noticed on my other video, a lot of people from, you know, Apple fanboys commenting. They're like, oh, you know, I have a Note 2 and, um, you know, uh, I'm mad because you can't move apps to SD. And with Apple, you know what you get. Get, get out of here. App, Apple doesn't have an SD card in none of their devices. So you never could ever do that. So if you have a 8 gig device or a 16 or 32 gig device, that's it. That's all you could store. There is no app to SD with Apple. So I don't even don't comment on my stuff. Get get out of here. We don't we don't we don't rock Apple over here. They they just limit you guys to whatever you can do. You, and Steve Jobs is gone. No end of, you're no longer by the time the S4 comes out, it's over. That that's all I got to say. You will be copying after then. But anyway, so I just want to say, guys. Um, so either root it or get a 32 gigabyte version. That that is the answer because Android, for some reason, rhyme or reason, they block that from from us, and um, they have a motive. Maybe you know, maybe they're not making, they're, they're not maximizing on the money on the apps. I don't know, but they blocked it, not Samsung. So don't blame Samsung. Samsung is still straight. Um, and that's it, man. Hit like if you like it. Comment below if you have any questions or comments. Um, and that's it, man. And uh, that's all. If anything, thanks for looking at my video. And uh, check me out in the future. I'll be back on here talking something else about Samsung. Later.